Hi, folks. Uh, what we're looking at here was my Echo Worthy MPPT solar charge controller, and I was really happy with this, and I've I've used it for quite a long time. Uh, I probably altogether used it for maybe three and a half years, uh, even though I had it longer than that. I probably had that thing for six years, but I, I didn't use it in the beginning. Anyway, I went, my, my solar power system uh, was having trouble. I couldn't understand why. And then I pushed some of the buttons on this thing and they, uh, they didn't really want to push. They didn't click like they used to do. And so I knew something was up. And plus, there's discoloration here. Anyway, uh, I opened it up and I'll show you what we got. Uh, it's all burned in through here. Uh, so there was some kind of problem with it. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what caused the problem. Uh, you know, it could be, could be anything really. Uh, age or uh, maybe it got overheated uh, it's hard to say what caused that problem so it's kind of a big setback for me uh, I want to get another one of these things but getting it here to the Philippines is going to be a little challenging uh, they do sell those things on eBay Philippines I think or maybe Lozada, I'm not sure which. So I, I, I can probably get one. And so that was a big setback. Now in the meantime, I do have this, this other charge controller. This is a PWM charge controller. And uh, it's only 10 amp. So I hope it's going to hold up. So I've got my my batteries theoretically they're charging with this thing. Uh, it's hard to say how long they're going to take. And the voltage on the batteries is dangerously low, and I'll show you that in a minute here. So I'll show you the, the voltage that we have right now, uh, 12.04 volts. Now when I, when I started, they were uh, about 11.4 volts. So they're coming up, uh, hopefully they still hold a charge. But it's something you got to keep your eye on your solar equipment, and it, it pays to have backups, especially if you're in a remote place here in the Philippines, like I am. So, you know, if, if anything goes wrong, you have some recourse because uh, you don't want to be without your solar power when. If something goes wrong. Now I did have that solar charge controller, the PWM as a backup, but <clears throat> I don't really like it because it's only 10 amps. Uh, this one here was a 20 uh, amp charge controller. And by the way, I, I checked the fuse, it's still good, so that's good news. Uh, I still have that, that, uh, I still have that fuse. Anyway, just a short video, uh, to let you know, my advice is to keep, to keep backups of all your important components, charge controller, your power inverter, 
and all that kind of stuff because you never know when something is going to go go bad. That's it. Thanks for watching.